Good morning, St. Paul. I am Mrs. Eden, the first grade substitute teacher. I am so happy that you're joining us for chapel today. Today's chapel is going to be led by Mr. Burgess, our principal. I hope that you enjoy your time in chapel today around God's word and enjoy the rest of your day. Welcome to chapel here at St. Paul Ann Arbor. It's always a blessing to spend time with you, whether virtually or in person for time together with our Lord. Today's chapel theme is Spirit-Filtered People. Spirit-Filtered People. What is a filter? Well, the definition of filter is remove by passing through a filter, filter out impurities. In other words, separate the good from the bad. There are many types of filters, let's say just in our homes. There's coffee filters, which I truly like in the morning to use to purify my coffee. There's furnace filters, there's dehumidifier filters, there's humidifier filters, there's vacuum cleaner filters, there's refrigerator filters, there's washer filters, there's dryer filters, and there's air purifier filters. Again, the definition of a filter to remove by passing through a filter, filter out impurities, separate the good from the bad. Let's see an example of a vacuum cleaner filter. Here's our first video. Hello, St. Paul. Let me introduce you to the Burgess Home Vacuum. What an awesome machine. Vacuuming in the house is one of my chores that I do. Mrs. Burgess and I clean the house, but all vacuums have filters. And let's check out the filter in this vacuum. Lift that up, and we see the filters right here. We just don't have one filter, we have a double filter. And the air goes in, goes through the filter, and it collects the dust and the stuff in your house and makes it cleaner. Let's see what's in our container here, our canister that the filter collected. Let's empty this out here. Oh! Gross, look at that. All this came from vacuuming the house and it's because of filter, filter the air, all the carpets and the flooring. I'm glad that is no longer in my house. I even have some dog hair right here from my son's dog when he visits. Ugh, I'm so glad that vacuums have filters and they help us clean the yucky stuff out of our house. Wow, wasn't that gross? Vacuum cleaner filters, they filter out the good from the bad. Can't imagine all oh, that dirt and dust in my house, but I'm glad I got rid of it through the use of a filter. Some filters we know about and we use often like a coffee filter, a vacuum cleaner filter. Some filters that we know about that we just forget about the importance of them. There's an important filter in a car called the oil filter. If this is neglected, not maintained, buildup of grime and dirt can get into the engine and the oil, and it may ruin the engine and make the car ultimately not run. So by knowing about a filter and not attending to take care of that filter, it could ruin the car. Some filters we may not even know about at all. Here's a video, our second video, is about something that we discovered in the gathering place here on campus. Filters, wouldn't you know it? We're in this beautiful space in our campus, the gathering place. It was the original small gym and the preschool uses it for movement classes and we use it for choir and the pumpkin carving and the many things we do in our building. But wouldn't you know, after we finished this space, we still did not have the heat that we really wanted in this room. It was kind of chilly. Even when we turned up the thermostat, it didn't seem like it was ever warm enough. Finally, we had our service person look into the matter. As it turned out, the filter that goes to this place, see the vents behind me, had not been changed in years. 
so many years that people didn't even know there was a filter at all. You know how dirty that filter was? It was so dirty that the warm air could not get to the room. Once that filter was cleaned and replaced, we have heat now in our room. It was the filter that was so clogged up with dust and dirt over all the years. That's what caused it. So sometimes we know we have filters and sometimes I didn't know there's a filter that can give us heat in this room. So I'm glad we discovered the filter. So now we have heat in this space. Isn't it great we discovered that we had a filter in the ventilation system in the gathering place? What we did not know, we do now know, so we can enjoy warm temperatures in the gathering place all winter long. How are you doing with removing impurities with your own filter? How are you doing separating the good from the bad? Separating the yucky, the icky, the mean, the rude, the vulgar, the hateful from what is good, wholesome, true, honorable, pure, beautiful, and respected. I did some research lately, and did you know that 80% of the people are in this category? 80% of the people who make mistakes, they make bad choices, and they're mean, it is because the words they say. Surprising, shocking, right? What you said got them in trouble for being mean. Have you ever heard someone say, I can't believe that person said that awful thing. Why didn't they think first before they said that? Hmm. What separates the good words from the bad words we use? With no filter, nothing separates the two. Our first Bible reading is from Ephesians 4, verse 29. The Word of God says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Wouldn't it be great to have a filter to prevent the bad stuff from our own words? Just think, we would be less mean, less selfish, and make less bad choices. A filter will lead us to live a life that you are blessed with and others are blessed by. The good news is you do have a filter to remove the unkindness from what we do and say. A filter that we may not even have known about. A filter that we may have forgotten about. Or a filter that we know we have but do not use it much. How is your spiritual filter doing? What is this filter? This filter is the Spirit of God. Yes, I am not kidding. This filter keeps the good and bad separate. This filter allows the good to flow through while catching the invaluable and harmful things. Our second scripture to share with you for our chapel service this morning is Philippians 4, verse 8. It tells us that we have a spiritual filter for any kind of of situation or area of our life. It works through our thoughts, words, and actions. Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, my friends, keep your minds on whatever is true, pure, right, holy, friendly, and proper. Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise. You may think that our spiritual filter is too easy, too simple. Well, it is. So, how do you receive the spiritual filter? It's a secret. Are you listening? Our spiritual filter is the power of the Spirit. It is a gift and a blessing. The Spirit of God is our spiritual filter. Now, I have two challenges for you. Okay? Two. Only two. The first one is... To follow 
Ephesians 4, 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Let your words be a gift and a blessing to others. The second challenge. Keep the bad and good separated by using Philippians 4 verse 8 for your spiritual filter. Remember Philippians 4 verse 8 says, Finally, my friends, keep your minds on whatever is true, pure, right, holy, friendly, and proper. Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise. God is walking with you to provide you the words to use. The closer you are to God, you'll experience being a spiritual filtered person more and more. Our spiritual filter is a gift of God to be a blessing for you and others around you. Filters separate the good from the bad. Remember filters I talked about earlier? Here's an air filter. It separates the good air from the impurities in the air, and that way we have better air to breathe. May our masks that we wear, which are filters to separate the bad from the good, may the filters of our masks be daily reminders every day we wear them that we are spirit-filled by God, and we desire to be spirit-filled for our families, to be sons and daughters of our families, to be spirit-filled. We desire to be spirit-filled students with our classmates in school. Our teachers desire to be spirit-filled teachers that lead you closer to God. You have two challenges. They both imply and impact you greatly. Separate the good from the bad by using a spiritual filter to be spirit-filtered people, and that spirit is the Spirit of God. I hope you take these words of advice for a blessed rest of the school year. Let us pray together. Father, we thank you that you made it clear through your word how we are to filter our lives. We desire to live our lives according to your word, we thank you for the grace to filter our life. In Jesus' name, amen. God's blessings and be a spirit-filtered person in our world today. God bless.
Troop needs your help. We are asking Safe Hope School and Church to bring food donations to help families in our community struggling with hunger. We are partnering with food gatherers of Washtenaw County. What? Please bring in non-perishable food, no glass containers. Please, they really, really need low sodium products such as soups, stews, tuna, chili, and vegetables. Pasta, rice, granola bars, and cereal are great. Nut or butters like peanut butter and jelly and plastic containers, baby food formula, and sure, nutritional drinks. They also need personal care items like diapers, toothpaste, toothbrushes, soup, shampoo, and disposable razors. Where? You can drop off food donations at the labeled boxes located at St. Paul's School near the office or near the gym and at St. Paul Church near the main entrance in the back of the sanctuary or near the side door office entrance. Why? Because of COVID-19, many people in our community have lost jobs or have had their hours cut at work. The food banks are getting way more requests than normal. Washtenaw County projects that this fall and winter, hunger rates will go way up like way up we want to help spread god's love by providing food for families in need right here in our neighborhoods when you can start bringing food in now remind your parents to add food items to their grocery list we will continue collecting food donations from october 14th through 28th Shout it out, cause helping all my friends in need is what it's all about. Cause everybody deserves to eat and not be hungry when they go to sleep. Donate food is what you should do, cause someday you might need help too. Thank you! Thank you. Thanks! Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right. Whatever is pure, whatever is excellent and most worthy of praise, I will think on these things. Lord, I will think on these things. I will think on your 